Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. Hope you're ready for a great day. You can find this latest local forecast and much more at our website, WSKITV.com, as well as our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram feeds. And you can find us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Village to Go is bringing you this weather report this morning. Increasing clouds for the day today, so get out there early and enjoy that sunshine before things cloud up. We'll see summit temperatures topping out in the mid-20s, base temperatures in the mid-30s. Summit winds, not an issue at all, as well as down here around the base. So get out there and enjoy it, folks. And then for Saturday, that's when we'll see snow developing overnight tonight into Saturday morning. We could see a brief mix at the base, but we're looking at a good 6 to 10 inches of snow accumulation, especially higher up on the hill. It will be windy, though, so going to be... Uh have to be aware of that out there. Sunday, we'll see those snow showers linger. Could pick up another inch or two of accumulation into Monday with continued snow showers. And that's when things are going to start to get cold as well. 23 will do it for your high on Monday. Uh, Tuesday, we're looking at the return of some partly sunny skies with a high of 24. And it looks like those colder temperatures will be heading our in our direction. For a Friday, Birchwood Interior is bringing in your trail report. 57 trails of skiing right on nine lifts. Getting into those runs, 50 trails on the groomers list and we're looking at some hard pack and loose granular services so maybe a good idea to go over to the downhill supply company grab a uh, fresh quick tune over there and get out there and rip it up timberline bridal chain tote road spur line king's landing and hay burner on the groomers list for last night narrow gauge comp hill sluice as well as gondola line and haywire candy side lower winter's way boardwalk the landing birches snowbrook all around the base area all nicely groomed out for you over on the east side of the mountain higher up you'll find Corduroy on Hallback, Flume, and Widowmaker, Ram Down, as well as Two Hall, and then Lower Down, Whiffle Tree, Slasher, and Rollway. Over on the west side, Scoot and Windrow got groomed out, and as far as the terrain parks, you will find the stomping grounds open for you, as well as that small terrain park on Tote Road. Snubber, Skidway, and Sawduster, those three lifts move you around the base area at 8.30 this morning if you're just learning to ski or ride. That's where you want to head. If you want to get a little higher on the hill, Double Runner East will go at 8.30 alongside Skyline and Super Quad, getting you to a variety of mid-mountain terrain, pretty much anywhere you need to go on the mountain. And then at 9 o'clock, the east side opens up with King Pine serving higher terrain and Whiffle Tree down lower, nice fast Super Quad to lap, so check that out. And Timberline, that gets going at 9 a.m., uh, getting you up to the second highest mountain in Maine. And they were going to groom out Upper Timberline as well last night. So you should be able to take a right off the top of the Timberline quad. Periodic grooming throughout the week at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. Uh, this new snow will be great for them. As well, there has been some ice fishing on the pond as well. Snowshoe trails are open. Fat bikes are there for rent. Uh, so check out the Outdoor Center. Fat bike trail conditions for today. Things are decent out there. Mead, Old Gauge, Goldenrod, Grassy Loops, all in good uh, shape at low tire pressure. So just be aware of your tread there. And uh, we'll be looking forward to that new snow as well to get all groomed out. Roku letting you down because you can't watch WSKI TV on it? Well, give us an email and we will pass that on to the powers that be. Just tell them you want to be able to see WSKI TV 17 on the Spectrum app so you can watch on your Roku. Also, your chance to win a great bike from Carver Bikes right here in Maine down at Bath Cycle and Ski. They're giving away a fat bike, not the bike pictured here, but a Carver Obeast. So check that out. It is a pretty sweet bicycle for the fat biking year round you can use them so go check it out at that link and be sure to fill out that survey